So I don't watch TV anymore. I mean, why, why would you, you know, when, when you got bike blogger? Hey there. <clears throat> Woo! Bike blogger here. On my way to work in the morning. Today I wanted to share some websites with you I found. Thought it was sort of cool. Don't usually do this, but thought I'd sort of point them out. So, I don't watch TV anymore. I mean, why, why would you, you know, when, when you got bike blogger? <laughs> but, found these cool websites. They have like old shows. And uh, what thing, uh, thing I found particularly funny is old commercials. I don't watch TV and I certainly don't watch commercials anymore. Whew. Oh, waking up with all the traffic. Lots of traffic. Oh. So. There are three websites. There's one for the 1970s for you slightly older guys. The 80s and the 90s. Just about a turn here. Nice big gap. Nice big gap. Uh, let's see, so the 1970s one is, they're all sort of the same. Uh, My70sTV.com. There's also a My80sTV.com and a My90sTV.com. But like I said, what was particularly funny to me were all the old commercials you could watch. It's essentially just like a a YouTube channel, but because you need like uh, Adobe Flash player. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Thought I found it particularly funny. On the websites, they got uh, like an old TV set. You can press on like the power button to turn it on. You can flip through channels. It's actually sort of interesting. Sort of reminds me of the early days of the internet where every website seemed to be sort of, I don't know, sort of unique. I remember when I was first getting into the internet, whew, back in the 90s, mid 90s or so. I'm an internet baby. There's a nice big gap right here. Uh, no one coming from the left. People coming from the right, but we can get past them pretty easily. Get on the trail here. So, I mean, I haven't really looked at the websites that much, but I thought they were sort of funny. So if you hadn't seen them before, check them out. Pretty cool. Looking at like a, looking at a TV monitor, looking at a TV screen on the TV monitor. Sort of reminds me of the uh, strong bad emails that, uh, what was that? I don't even remember what that company's name was. I think they're still around though. It's like you, you look at your, t uh, your computer monitor, looking at this other guy's computer monitor, Reading emails that he got from fans, and then he'd comment on them. It was sort of funny, I thought. Oh. Beep, beep. It's 
Let's get on the road. Alright. Riding my single speed bike. I'll try to put down in the description below in the future what bike I'm riding because some people want to know. That lady was nice to let me go. Hope I didn't bully her though. I don't like bullies. Oh. Oh. Waking up in the morning. Stop signs. Oh my. And getting off on a tangent with the internet, which is essentially what has killed TV. I mean, you got Amazon making their own, or uh, uh, producing their own uh, TV shows. Netflix has been doing it for a while. And then you got streaming, which, especially in a, uh, in a regular, you know, a bigger city like my city versus, you know, some smaller rural towns. Uh, it's sort of a big thing because, you know, as long as your internet speed is fast enough, you can just get all, I mean, if you just watch regular TV, you know, if you're watching sports or something, uh, then you sort of gotta, gotta bite the bullet and, uh, still pay for old-fashioned TV. I don't, I don't really see why, I don't really follow this sort of stuff, but I don't really see why uh, the National Football League or why anybody would, uh, any of those sort of sports organizations would actually stick with the uh, old-fashioned uh, cable TV, why well, they wouldn't just basically, if they could, do their own thing. Alright. Saw an electric scooter, uh, behind me. It's not behind me anymore, though. Hey, I'm all for, uh, Anything you can do to reduce your carbon footprint, you know. Still think uh best thing to do really is if you know if you're a a healthy person or if you're you know into that sort of thing <laughs> or you want to be healthy, treat your body right. Still think uh watch out for that. Still think uh, cycling is the best thing you can do to get yourself from point A to point B. I know there are people out there who commute much further than me though. If I had to guess the average bicycle commute around the world, you know, people who do it, including people in less developed countries, I imagine it is more than, you know, what, five miles one way. Probably closer to 15 miles one way. But in most developed countries, I think it is closer to five miles one way, which is about my commute. My commute's a little shorter than that, though. It depends on which way I go, though. From home to work, work to home. I have been looking into, <laughs> I know I don't have them on any of my bikes, but I have been looking into bicycle racks, you know, for lugging around extra clothing or groceries and stuff. I haven't gotten that far into it though yet.
mainly do uh, bicycling for uh, commuting purposes more than anything else including recreation and what have you up the hill So yeah, back on topic, red light. My 70s TV, my 80s TV, my 90s TV. I gotta check it out some more. I mean, I'm sort of a busy guy, so I don't go around self-promoting my channel or uh, watching, uh, you know, endlessly <laughs> TV programs and stuff. Oh, that dog was not on a leash, which I don't really have an issue with. As long as the owner is around, and as long as it's a, a nice dog. <laughs> oh, that, that was funny. I was just looking at that house back there, and they had a bunch of scarecrows. And I was like, what? What are all those people standing in front of the house? That's creepy. <sighs> Screw it, we'll go this way. There's a bunch of cars backed up over there. So we'll just spin around in the uh, parking lot with all those cars. Now watch out people come out on the right here. Drive through drug pharmacy. Drive through drug dealer. Whew. Well thanks for coming along on my commute. Links in the description below of course. And we'll see y'all next time. Woo!